WKMC TV broadcast of the Lords Regional Red Raiders boys soccer team versus the Shimokan Indians boys soccer team. Tonight they're going to battle for the Miners hat. And I'm Lily Mallory, and I'm here with Neve Catalinas, and we're going to bring you the game tonight. In goal, we have Ryan Hens for Shimokan and Kyle Baranowski for Lords. Lord's boys are starting with the ball tonight. That was a good ball. It was a good ball. Looks like we're starting strong for the goalie. going to be a throw in for the Red Raiders. Looks like Hunter Bobbuck's going to be throwing it in. That was a good throw in. Adam White going back for Red. Hunter Bobbuck again with the throw. Is that Josh, Josh Miller? Yep. Another throw here for Lords. Actually, correction, it's a corner kick for Lords. Majid Kanafani taking the kick. Ryan was able to get his hand on it, it looks like. So we'll probably have another corner kick. Yep, another corner kick here for Lords. And Majid Kenafani is going to take this kick as well. That was very nicely blocked. That could very much could have been yeah easy goal. Ooh. Ooh. Red Raiders. So very nicely placed ball by number 11, Majid Kenafani. Yep. The goalie looked like they, he really went for it too, though. Yeah. So, good effort all around. It's two minutes into the game. Going to pass to number seven. Looks like Vince Harmon. Well, that was a good heads up play. Very good pump by Schmokin's goalie. Braden was able to get ahead on it. Good stop by Josh Miller. Throw in for Lords. Hunter's going to take the throw again. And another throw for the Raiders. We do see both um, sides using their defense up all the way at the half, even farther, with Lords having only one back. So we'll see how that works for them. Looks like Lucas tried to save the ball, but he just couldn't get it. Great effort. 
It's going to be a goal kick for Shimoka. Their keeper, Ryan Hentz, looks like he's going to take it. Actually, it looks like number 12 might be taking it. Keegan Boyer. Boyner. That was a good ball. Good heads up ball. Goal by looks like 23. Vincent Herman. It seems like it's going to be a very, very competitive game today. Oh, for sure. He got all the way into the six, so. Looks like Majid Kanafani for a long ball again. And their goalie got it. Gonna go out for a punt. It's a good way to incorporate their goalie. They sent it back to him. Mm -hmm. Very nice punt by Hens. Connor Ryan looks like he's able to get a foot on it and get it up the field. And Josh Miller's going for a run. Got number three stopping his run. Bodie Mike McGee. Throw in for the Red Raiders. Hobie Forty's going to take the throw. Looks like Lucas was able to get his head on it, but just couldn't quite finish. It's going to be a goal kick for the Indians. With only six minutes down, we can see how competitive this game's going to be withheld. Oh, for sure. So the Raiders are going to use their keeper. It's going to be a Shemokin Indian throw in. Notice that we see all of the Raiders coming back to defend this ball. Yeah, you don't see that much often. James Pucci is going to take the throw. We had a throw in. He stepped over the line. It was an illegal throw, so now the Raiders are going to take possession with the throw in. Bob Luck is going to take another throw. Looks like number two was unable to get his foot on it for the Smoking Indians. Ooh. Indians now in possession. Number 10 with it on his foot. That we sent for a long ball for number four. He's just unable to finish that. It's going to be a goal kick for the Red Raiders. Majid fighting Andrew Wynn up the line. Looks like Brody Brinkash able to get his foot to disconnect the pass from the Smokin' Indians. Out on white. Andrew Wynn with the ball. Connecting it to Lucas, it looks like, to Josh. Number three, Brody McGee was just able to get his head on that. Oh. 
Kyle Baranowski able to stop the ball and just kick it out of bounds so Shemokin doesn't have a wide open goal. But it's going to be an Indians throw in. Steinhardt with the ball. Ooh, good block by Connor Lyon. And a Schmokin Indian sent it right out of bounds, so it's going to be a throw in for the Raiders. Looks like it's going to be a goal kick. Sent for a long ball. Unfortunately, unable to connect it with anybody. Goal kick was a short ball too. It looks like Cooper Weaver. Picked up by number seven. Colin Steinhardt, and he was able to finish for the goal for the Indians. Goal for number seven, Colin Steinhardt. Long ball by Connor Ryan. Lucas Carpenter in control right now. The shot, but unable to finish, goes right over the goal. It's a good shot. There's as many opportunities both ways as we see. So we can tell that this game's just going to be very competitive both ways. It's a great stop there by number four, James Pucci. Smoking using their keeper. Both teams are doing a really good job at incorporating their keeper. Oh, for sure. Sometimes you see them back there and they're just getting bored because they're not doing anything. Um, Baranowski came out, able to make that save. That was risky, but it was a very good play. Ooh. Josh Miller trying to connect it to Lucas Carp, unable to get it though. It's going to be a throw in for the Indians. Long ball by it looks like Cooper Weaver. Ooh. Lucas Carpenter trying to get ahead on it, but unable to get it for the smoking goalie, Ryan Hens. Oh. It's a very high punt. Yes. Kicked out by the Smoking Indians. Going to be a throw in for a board. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lucas able to move the ball forward, but number 12 just able to get it up the field. See the ball on number 10's feet right now. Number 10 able to get a shot on. But we see Kyle coming out for the ball. 
That was a great pump by Kyle. Knocked out by the Shemokin Indians. Going to be a throne for the Red Raiders. Nice little through, the, through ball there by Majid Kanafani, but the goalie is just able to get there before anyone else. It's a great punt by Shemokin's goalie, Ryan Hentz. We see, is we, we see that he has a very strong leg that seems to help Shemokin very much get the ball up the field. He'll be 40 taking control, passing it back to Majid. Going for a through ball, but unfortunately unable to connect it. You see Baranowski again coming out for the ball. Throwing it in to Majid Kanafani, sending it for a long ball. Lucas is going to attempt to get it up the field. He's doing a very good job at that. It's a very good effort between Lucas and Brody. Unfortunately, unable to keep it in. It's going to be a goal kick for the Indians. We see Hens taking this goal kick. That was a great throw by the Red Raiders, but Majid unable to keep it in. It's going to be another goal kick for the Indians. see Andrew Wing going for a shot. That was a great through ball by Josh Miller. Looks as though it was kicked out by Shimokan Indians. So a corner kick for the Raiders. Taken by Majid Kanafani. Now his last corner kick went right in, so we'll hope to see that again. Looks like it ball. too long. It's a great ball. It's just a little bit too long. Indians now have possession of the ball. Great through ball by number 10, Anthony Hall. You see number 6 stopping it. We didn't bring cash. Looks like Canafani tried to keep the ball in, but he was unable to do so. If there's a foul on the play, it's going to be a free kick by the Red Raiders. Canafani's going to take the kick. 
That was a great ball. Fortunately, it was right to the keeper. We see it go to six, Brody Brinkash sending it out. Another foul called. Going to be another free kick for the Raiders, again taken by Midget Kenafani. Great ball again by Majid. Unfortunately, right to the keeper again. Ball sent out by the Indians. We're going to have another Red Raider throw in. Again here by Hunter Boblick. It's a great ball by Connor Ryan. The foul against the Red Raiders is going to be a free kick for Schmokin. We see number 12 is going to be taking it, it looks though, as though. It's a good kick by Keegan Brogner. Nice to. Deflection by Kyle Byronowski. That was a great shot by Anthony Hall. That was a very reactive stop by Kyle. It's going to result in a smoke and throw in. Number seven, Colin Steinhardt, is going to take the throw. Getting it out at the 18, we see Brody Brinkash. Shot by Steinhardt, unable to finish. Looks as though it was out of play before he took the shot, though. So we're going to bring it back, having a throw in by Hunter Boblick. Lucas able to control it going up the field. Just knocked it out of play. It's going to be a throw in for the Indians. Connor Ryan knocks out of bounds. It's going to be another throw in for the Indians. It's a great throw by number four, James Pucci. Miller sends the ball to the middle. Unable to connect with one of his teammates, unfortunately. We see Boblik heading the ball to send it forward to Hobie Forty. Once again, a long ball. He tries to get it himself. It's knocked out by the Indians. It's going to be a throw in for the Raiders. Looks like number 10, 
Hobie Forty is going to be throwing it in. And number three, Brody McGee heading it out of play. It's going to be a corner kick for the Red Raiders. Looks like Majid is taking it once again. It's a great ball. Carpenter got a foot on it, and unfortunately we were unable to connect it. Lucas Carpenter got getting a foot on it in the back line. He was in the right place at the right time, though. He was. It's going to be a goal kick for the Indians. Hobie taking the ball up the field, trying to connect with Lucas. It's going to be kicked out by the Indians. It's going to be a throw-in for the Raiders. Taken by 10-40. It was a great throw. Just unable to connect with one of his teammates. Connor Ryan's going to be able to stop that ball, take control. Once again, we see Connor Ryan taking it off the feet of the Smokin' Indians. It's a great pass to connect with Lucas Carpenter, and he's trying to go back to Ryan. Kicked out by the Indians. Looks like it's going to be a maybe a corner kick. Yep, for sure. It's a corner kick taken again by Majid Kanathani. It's interesting to see the Raiders putting nine people on offense for corner kicks and leave them. Oh, for back. sure. Yeah. Right over top of the goal. Unfortunately, we were unable to connect it. That was a great ball. It's going to be a goal kick for the Indians. Carpenter able to get his head on it. We see the boys almost playing ping pong back and forth. It looks like we had Hobie 40 try for a goal, unable to connect it, just too far to the side of the goal. It's going to be another goal kick for the Indians. It was a short ball to one of the defenders and back to Hens, and now he sends the long ball up the field. Looks like Bob looks going to get his head on it to send it back up the field. Unfortunately, Hobie's unable to save it. It's going to be a throw in for the Indians. Hobie connects with Josh. Connor Ryan sending a long ball to Lucas Carpenter. Brody again trying to send Lucas with the long ball, but just a little too much on that ball. It's going to be another goal kick for the Indians. We're having a substitution for the Raiders. Looks like Hobie Forty is going to go off for Andrew Wynn coming in, number three.
sorry, number seven, Andrew Wynn. Substitute for the Shemokin Indians. See number eight leaving the field for number 15, Vito Phillips. You just right there for the ball and the ball's raised. We see a long ball sent by Cooper Weaver. Nice through ball there. Kyle came out of the goal. Shot by, I believe it's number four, James Pucci, but hit off the crossbar. It's gonna be a goal kick for the Red Raiders. Good goal kick taken by Baranowski. Oh. Connor able to get ahead on the ball. Majid trying to connect it with Josh Miller, who was able to save it, I believe. No, nope. nope. Fortunately, it was just out. Good attempt by Josh Miller, though. Throws it into Steinhardt, who attempts to move it forward, but hit off the head of Boblick. It's a great shot by Anthony Hall, who was unable to connect with the goal. So Hobie Forty's back in the game for number two, Braden, or Brody Brinkash, excuse me. Brandon Burncash sends the ball up long. Yeah. Unfortunately, it goes out of bounds. Anthony Hall controlling the ball very well in the middle for the Indians. We should see Josh Miller continuously being an issue for the Schmokin Indians, just constantly at their hip. Yeah, it just seems like he's always where the ball is. He's playing great defense. Goal kick was a short ball to Weaver. going to send it to the middle to Frankie Kane who then sends it up to 40 I believe and we see Andrew Wynn in the middle open 40 tries to cross it over but I think it just hit off his foot the wrong way it's going to be a goal kick for the Indians Oh, 
Boblick with a throw in for the Raiders. Number 10, Anthony Hall, able to keep it on his feet. But Miller takes it off his feet, tries to send it up, but Brian Hens, Schmokin's goalie, is able to save that. We see Ryan Hentz sending a lot of his punt super high in the air, and it seems as though neither team's able just to get it off of the punt. It seems to hit the ground first. So there's a foul called on the field, so it's going to be a free kick for the Indians. Number 12, Keegan Brotner is going to take it, it looks like. Looks like defensive it. play heads up for Josh Miller. Yeah. Slips right out of Baranowski's hands, but Miller was able to get it up and out. It's going to be a throw in for the Indians. Yes. Canafani controls it, sends it long up the middle to Andrew Wynn, who's going to take a shot. Nice save by Hens. Yeah, I don't think we've seen any of Hens's putts played from right out of the air. No. They all just seem too high, and they seem to be, like, taken by the wind or the sun or something. Kicked out by Steinhardt. It's going to be a goal kick for the Raiders. Good goal kick from Baranowski. Josh tries to send the through ball to Andrew Wynn, but unable to connect. Hence comes out and saves it. We see Hence come out a lot. This must like I think this probably shows the fact that he's very confident in his team doing what he needs and getting the ball away from the goal. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Ooh, looks like a collision on the field. It is going to go the Raiders' way, though. And I think Hobie Forty is going to take this free kick. That was a great ball. Miller able to get a body on it, but sends it back smoking away. Long ball. Sent to number six. Landon Brown. Connor Ryan tries to get it out, but hits it right off Brown. It's going to be a throw in for the Raiders. That was a great play by Connor Ryan. Public throw bounced out, so it's going to be a throw in for the Indians. It's going to be thrown in by number four, James Pucci. Right over all the heads, right to Baranowski. We 
see Andrew Wynn with the ball on his feet. Sending it to Lucas Carp. Great ball to Carpenter, who was unable to finish the goal. Two minutes left in this half, and we see Schmoken winning only by one. Still a very competitive game. Connor Ryan playing outstanding defense. But a whistle was blown. It's going to go the way of the Indians. Pick number four, James Pucci, is going to take this kick from right outside the 18. Baranowski able to save that. We see one of the boys getting a head on it, but we can't quite tell who got the head, but Baranowski had a reaction save and was able to stop it. Hence's putt goes right out of bounds, thrown for the Raiders. Andrew Wynn controlling it up the field. It was a nice attempt to save it, but he was unable to save the ball, so it's going to be a goal kick for the Indians. About 10 seconds left in this half. See Frankie Kane able to stop the pass, but he just ran out of time, unable to even attempt for goal. And that'll do it for our first half of play. Welcome back, everybody. We're about 40 seconds away from starting the second half. It's been a good game so far. Schmokin's leading by one. Scores 2-1. Both teams have, an, I think, an equal amount of opportunities. And I think both the keepers are playing great. So I'm excited to see the second half. It's good to see both goalies are returning back to position. All right, and we're about to begin a few seconds. Indian start with possession. Andrew Wynn is putting crazy pressure on, though. Hobie taking the ball up the left side. And we see it deflected off of number five, Braxton Hop. Josh Miller is doing a really good job of just like getting his foot in the middle of passes. He's very much in the game. We see him in almost every situation where the ball's sent out. There's a long ball by Hobie, but Hence came out and saved it before Andrew Wynn was able to connect with it. That was a nice little touch by Steinhardt. The ball sent long by number 20. And Baranowski comes back out to take the ball. Okay. 
And I think I put goalkeeper next to their good name. So. But make sure you read off all those things. Andrew Hall with the shot. Baranowski, that was a great save. Thank you. Hence sent it out of bounds, so now it's going to be a throw in for the Raiders. Long ball sent up the side. Goes out of bounds. It's going to be thrown for the Raiders. Hope he connects with Andrew, who sends it back to the middle for the Indians. Nice long ball. Baranowski saves it, though. Ooh. We see number, ho number 10, Hobie 40, totally wipe out. And Andrew Wynn does almost a front flip over the keeper, Ryan Hens, but Hens was able to keep the ball in his hands. It's a very good stop for Ryan Hens. Punk goes right to Canafani, who keeps control of it. Hens was able to get his hands on that one, too. Andrew Hall, or Anthony Hall, I'm sorry, taking it up the side. Ooh, it looks like Frankie came. We had able to block a pass from going through. We see Kyle Baranowski send a pass out to Cooper Weaver, who sends a long ball. Shot taken by Jaden Pucci. Baranowski with the save. And a punt all the way up the field. Great punt made by Kyle Baranowski. Miller controls the ball and tries to send it up, but Hence is able to get his hands on it once again. See Ryan Hentz send his punt all the way to the other goal, having Kyle Baranowski stopping it for the save. Hobie sending the ball up to Andrew Wynn, who sends it back to Hobie Forty. It's 
stopped by the Shemokin defense and sent right up to the middle. Baranowski's goal kick goes right to Canafani. Deflected off. I think it's number one. Nope, not 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 number one. Who is this? <laughs> number seven, yeah. Colin Steinhardt. Number two. <laughs> Throwing for the Indians. <laughs> Run made by the Raiders. We see Conifani and Miller passing it back and forth. Miller takes the shot. Hence can't get it, but it went right out of bounds. So it's going to be a goal kick for the Indians. I still don't think I've seen a punt made by Ryan been taking out of that been taken out of the air. No, me either. His punts are very high. They basically go straight up. Yeah. They do go very far. Goal kick taken by the Indians goes right to the Red Raider defense. We see Connor Ryan kicking it out. <laughs> Carpenter tries to pass it to Canafani who just can't stop it Frankie Kane drops it back to Hunter Boblik who then sends it up to Brody Brody trying to connect it with Lucas able to connect it to Majid who sends it right up the line was Carpenter able to get the ball and deflect it. It's going to be a throw in for the Indians. Saved by Baranowski. Kobe 40 able to stop the ball. Schmokin's defense sends it right back to Brady Brinkash.
We see Cooper Weaver sending it four again. Brody trying to connect with Hobie. He's able to recover the ball and sends it forward. Hoping for Lucas Carpenter. But he just can't get there in time. Once again, we don't see the punt received in the air. Goes right back to the Lord's defense, and Hunter Bobwick's going to take this throw in. Throws it right to Josh Miller, who sends it forward. Being deflected by the Indians' defense. Majid sends it right to Lucas's feet. He's able to get up there. It's going to be a throw in for the Raiders. Watching, I see both defensive lines are pretty even on, like, skill-wise. They both seem to block it out, which is just not allowing either offense to kick it in. Looks like Forty's going to take the throw right to the middle. Wide open shot deflected off one of the Shemokin Indians. I think that was Boblik who was able to get his body on the ball. Oh, yeah. Woo. taking control. Finds Brody bring cash. See Hunter Bob like kicking it out. Allowing for all the defensive players to get back into position. Baranowski calls for the ball, but wasn't able to get a hand on it, but the Raiders were able to get it out of the 18. See Brody bring cash the ball on his feet. You see a throw in from the Red Raiders right there at the corner. Right to the middle. No one is unable to, no one's able to get a body on that. Andrew Lynn going for the ball. Foul called. Foul called. It's going to be the Indians' way. They're going to take the free kick. Yeah. Sarnowski able to stop that bounce. You see him throw it in instead of punting, which isn't something you see very often. No, and that was a very good throw, too. Kyle able to save that one, too. Thank you. 
We see Andrew Wynn with the ball on his feet, going for a shot, unfortunately unable to make it into the goal. Just inches off. That was a great run by the Raiders. It's going to be a goal pick for the Indians. We're just under halfway into the second half. Exciting. Shot taken by Hobie Forty. Let me see. Able to stop it though. See Frankie came with the ball on his feet. Sent out by the Indians, giving them enough time to come back and put themselves in defensive position. We go for Wayne with the shot, and Hench was able to get his hand on the ball, sending it ricocheting right over the net. It's going to result in, the cor in a corner kick for the Raiders, but that was a beautiful shot by Cooper Weaver. Canafani is going to take the corner kick. Shot taken by Hobie, unable to go in. But it looked like Josh Miller was able to get the ball. Game's now tied at 2 2 with 19 minutes left in the half. That was a great ball by Majid Kanafani. Looks like Lucas Carpenter is going to come back in for Sam Shower. Ball at Hobie's feet. Sending it to Lucas Carpenter's feet. Attempting for a shot, but stopped by heads. Foul call. It's going to be a free kick for the Raiders.
We see the free kick being taken by Kyle Baranowski. That was a great ball. We see the ball on Anthony Hall's feet a lot down here on the offensive end for the Schmokin Indians. He tried to cross it to the middle. Unfortunately, he didn't have any of his teammates there to finish the goal. That ball's at Hobie Forty's feet. He tries to send it in, but it ricochets off of a white player. The Smoking Indian defense have been on the tornado, uh, the Raiders, so it was the entire game. Not very often have they left anything open. I think both teams are playing a great defensive game. Great ball sent by Shemokin and Indian, but Baranowski able to save it. Coming into this game, the Raiders had definitely the upper hand. They were looking to definitely win. As we're playing through, we're seeing how neither of the teams are exactly playing like the game's for sure for anybody. Yeah, their records definitely don't define how they're playing right now. Shimokin's coming into the game with, I think, three wins, and the Raiders, I believe, have eight. Miller with the ball on his feet again. It's taken off by Shemokin Indian. We see Andrew Wynn taking a shot deflected by number four, James Pucci. The Raiders throw in. Bob looks going to take the throw. Right to the middle, and Hence was able to get his hands on that and save that one. It's a great pump by Ryan Hens. Once again, I'd like to point out Colin Steinhardt was down there ready for that ball. Unfortunately, sending it out. Throw in for the Indians. Steinhardt's going to take the throw. You see Boblik use his high a lot, and it definitely seems to help. He sends it up pretty far. Win with a through ball. Wide open to Brody Blencash. But the Indian, one of the Indians was able to get back. Hello. 
Hobie trying to get up and get his head on it, unable to get it. See, it bounced right over Connor's head. And sent out by Bring Cash. Shot taken by Anthony Hall, but unable to connect it into the goal. You see Kyle taking, once again, another goal kick. <laughs> you see Madrid leaving it for Frankie Kane. Just unable to connect it. Shot taken by an Indians defender, but unable to get it in the goal, goes right over. It's going to be another goal kick for Kyle. Couldn't make out who that was, but I'd like to point out that it was made from pretty far back. Yeah. Number seven, Steinhardt with the ball on his feet again. Number four, James Pucci attempting for a goal. Kyle Baranowski able to stop. Ooh. Henson's puck goes right to the Lord's goalkeeper, Kyle Baranowski. Mm. There's a little bump. We've seen play continue after this, the whistle was blown, but there was a foul called. So ball was moved back for a kick. Canafani's going to take this free kick again. Good kick, lines right up. Unfortunately, goalkeeper was just able to get up there and get it. Good save by Ryan. Both of these key keepers are having outstanding games. Cooper Weaver connecting a pass with Hobie 40. Hobie just unable to keep it on his feet. That is a throw in for Lords. Shot taken by number 10, 40. 
And once again, we see the goalie able to get out there and get to the ball. I think that's the first ball that I've seen taken from a putt from Ryan received in the air. I agree. Shingar just fell out. <laughs> Josh Miller sending a long ball to Majid Kanafani. Unfortunately being deflected by one of Shemokin's defensive men. Especially you. That was a nice save by Hens. Shot by Anthony Hall. Nice save by Kyle Baranowski. <laughs> Thrown out to Cooper Weaver, who we're going to watch dribble it for a little bit. Sending a pass up to Hobie Forty. He's going to find... Oh, no, he's going to take it himself. Looks like it was deflected by number five, Braxton Hop. So we're going to have a Raiders throw in. I believe there was a foul call, and I think it's going to go to the Indians. Free kick being taken by the Indians. Saved by Baranowski. Josh Miller with the head sending it to Hobie 40. Who's sending a long pass to Andrew Wynn. Sam Shallow, I think, initially took that shot. That was a great save by Hens. Cooper Weaver with a head looks like it deflected off of number four, James Pucci, for a Red Raiders throw in. Must have been a foul call st called somewhere because we're seeing the Indians take a kick. The flex off Cooper Weaver. It's going to be a throw in for the Indians. Just a little bit under four minutes to go in this game. It's still tied at 2 2. You see Kyle come out once again for the ball. Very smart keeping in there for both keepers, knowing how to play with their team in front of them. Thank <laughs> you. 
See, Brody Brinkhouse sending a long ball, unable to connect it with any of his players. Deflected off of Hogan 40 for an Indians throw in. Couldn't quite tell who made the shot, but shot made from the Indians. I think it was number 10, Anthony Hall. With only just under three minutes left, Shemokin's winning one to two. See the ball on Carl and Colin Steinhardt's foot with Cooper Weaver able to deflect his pass. Just under two minutes left in this game. Majid Kanafani unable to get to the ball. We see the Indians deflecting it, just trying to keep it away from their goal. Lucas able to get a foot on it. Once again, going for sending it back to Josh Miller, going for a shot. Saved by Ryan Hens. One minute left, we see Indians throwing the ball in. Obviously not in any rush to get any more goals. Just trying to keep the ball on their feet as long as they can. We see Josh Miller get the ball and send it off the field. See Majin Kanafani going for a long ball, hoping for someone to connect it to. We watch a Shemokin's defensive men send it out. Watching Frankie Kane going for a shot. Saved by Hens. Ten seconds left in this game. And there you have it. The Miners hat goes to the Shemokin Indians this year. Unfortunately, MCI was unable to pull out the win. Shemokin won 3-2. Thank you for watching our broadcast as we watch for the girls up next.